In this video, we will add one last field and use it to calculate the percentage of urban area that falls within our CBSA. Let's go ahead and click the Add Field button and title our new field Herb Percent. The values should remain the same in the data type and the numeric field. Once we've created the new field, go ahead and save. Now let's search for the Calculate Field tool in the Geoprocessing search bar to conduct our final analysis. Let's go ahead and add our urban area CBSA as our input table, and our field name should be the new field that we just created. Below, we can write an expression to calculate the percentage of urban area that falls within the CBSA. Notice there is a fields dialog box where we can double click various fields and use certain operations to write our expression down at the bottom. Go ahead and double click on the field titled sum area kilometers squared then choose the divide button and then double click on the area kilometer squared field. Now we want these to be represented as percentages so go ahead and put parentheses around this and then use the multiply button and type in 100 afterwards. This way our values will be represented as if they were percentages. Once you have the expression written, go ahead and click Run. It shouldn't take very long, and when it's finished, our new Urban Percentage field should be populated with percentage values. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what CBSA had the smallest percentage of area. Go ahead and double click on the urban percentage field and it should filter it based on lowest to highest. On the far left, go ahead and click the boxes to select each feature. There is a zoom to button which will allow you to zoom to the selected feature. Go ahead and put on the topographical base map to see where in the world this is. Go ahead and place the UAC la layer above the Urban Area CBSA layer. Go ahead and select the second lowest percentage UAC layer and take note of the name 
for the two lowest CBS A's with urban areas within them. Now let's go ahead and do the same and filter our urban percent field from highest to lowest. Make note of the names of these as well. In the next video, we'll create a final layout of an area in the US that represents all three of our layers.